Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about pedals for your Nord Stage 3 and all the different options you have. Now this will be in a video series of two parts. This is part one. In part one, we're talking about the pedal types and where the pedals connect within the Nord Stage 3 in that back panel, all those ports and options. All of that is gonna be discussed in this video. In addition, we're going to talk a little bit about the different manufacturers as endorsed by Clavia and the people at Nord. Now, part two will be another video released in a few days from this one, and that video will talk about each pedal type and will connect it to the actual Nord Stage 3 and look at the different system settings and preferences that we have there to see how these pedals work, the different options you have, and explore that a little deeper. So by the end of these two videos, you will be a master at understanding Nord accessories, the Nord Stage 3 specifically, the pedals that can interact with that, how they connect, where they go, what they're used for, and you'll know exactly which pedal to purchase next and for what reason. Okay, I wanted to take a minute before we get into the actual lesson to talk about a blog site that I've recently stumbled upon. It's called pianodreamers.com. And the reason why this even came to my attention is because I was doing some research on the Nord Stage 3 and I found out that they actually have one of the most, if not the most, amazing review on the Nord Stage 3 that I've ever read in my life. It is the most um, intense, the most robust, the most detail, very accurate. And uh, I was tickled when they featured two of my videos from the channel here in their exploration of the actual Nord Stage 3. Here it is, Nord Stage 3. Take a look at this. I'll include a link in the description below this video. But Okay, so, you know, we've all read reviews on keyboards and things like that, but this guy goes to great length. Not only that, he formats it well. He talks about uh, all kinds of things, and throughout this article, you know, shows you pictures, all the different sizes. He goes on to do the weights. I mean, he kind of thinks like I do when it comes to this stuff. Design, shows some nice close-ups. Look at this chart here, comparing it with all these other keyboards. Then uh, he's got, you know, a few static pictures, but he talks about the details, uh, the preferences. He shows the famous Nord demo. And then he goes into even more depth. I mean, this just goes on and on and on. And then eventually you'll come down to when he talks about the organ and then the synth. He's got various sightings from different YouTube channels. And then finally, ah, there I am. How, how fun is it to see your own video on someone else's blog site? Pretty awesome. And I believe that's used in a couple places. Yeah, here's another one right here. So when I found this, of course, I reached out and I was excited. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick plug to this. This is pianodreamers.com. There's no sponsorship or any of that stuff. There's no uh, money being exchanged. It's just something I found and I wanted to say thanks. So thanks to Lucas and his hard work there. Keep it up and we will talk more and see if we can uh, get something going together as far as some form of collaboration down the road. All right, now on to the lesson. So this is an actual lesson that you're actually going to be able to see if you purchase the Nord Stage 3, it's called Master the Nord Stage 3 course that I offer on MyKeysToMusic.com. So this will be just one of many. There's well over 100 different video lessons that I have, and it's now closing in on 13 hours of content. Now, of course, you don't have to watch all 13 hours, but I go, you know, I'm pretty elaborate. I go into some detail. I go through essentially every page of the manual but in video format in a much friendlier and more auditory way of appreciating these courses. But let's take a look at the lesson and we'll get that going now. So this is Understanding Pedal Options, Master the Nord Stage 3. So understanding the pedal types. First, before you can even really begin to appreciate what the pedals do, you have to really understand the basic types. There's not that many, but it's important to know what they are. Sustain, pedal, and also known as the damper pedal. Now this pedal is probably the one you are familiar with. If you own a Nord Stage 3, it likely came with it if it's brand new. So this is a, this right you're seeing here is a Nord sustain pedal. We all know what that does and we're all pretty confident that we can plug it into the port that says sustain. Um, now let's talk about some of the other pedal options you have. Control and expression pedal. So these are really called control pedals, but they are also known as expression pedals because that's what they do. They provide expression. And the difference between a sustain pedal, which is sort of an on-off, it's sort of a one or a zero, uh, a black and white, if you will, it's, it's really just a one-trick pony. The control pedal, or the expression pedal, uh, is think of it as zero through 100%. So you can iterate through the different range by moving the pedal forward or backwards. Forward is 100%, backward is zero uh, in most cases. The control pedal and expression pedal will provide things like volume, 
It will provide things like morphing the different effects you have on your Nord Stage 3. And in order to use the control pedal, you actually have to click on the control pedal button on your Nord Stage 3 and introduce the idea of morphing. All right, now the third pedal is called a foot switch. And this one may be not as popular as the other two, but it's pretty powerful in its own little way here. Uh, this is an example of a foot switch. This is the FS-6 from Boss. And this will provide you the ability to go up and down through your program listing. Yeah, now, you'll still have to predefine your organi and organize your programs in a certain order so that one comes after another, but you can just push A or B and go up and down through the program list or through song mode, which is also available on the Nord Stage 3. This foot switch option is kind of exclusive to the Stage 3 in terms of that port. You don't get this port on the Electro series. All right, now one that we don't talk about, one that even Nord doesn't really talk about in, in any of their uh, materials, is the idea of a MIDI controller foot switch slash button panel uh, master controller. This is the FCB 1010, and it's from uh, Behringer. And these, uh, this particular board is programmable. And in fact, you're going to have to program it to get any kind of use out of it for the most part. But all of those buttons that you see there are programmable. You have the same up and down option, and you have two expression pedals besides. So technically speaking, if you were to purchase a MIDI controller like this, this foot switch foot control uh, MIDI device, you could essentially replace uh, all the pedals that you see above. All three of them could be replaced by this single pedal board. However, there's a caveat. Uh, this has to be programmed. You do have to uh, go the extra step. It's a little bit more complicated to program. So you only want to do that if you are already technically adept and are not fearful of MIDI in any way, shape, or form. Um, because you'll be spending a little time setting that up, and it might uh, be frustrating. The top three options are really, really simple. You just plug them in, and they work. There's a few settings, which we'll look at in video too, but essentially, uh, that's the difference. The top three pedals are plug-and-play, ready to go. The bottom one is more programmable, but highly powerful, and could technically get you into a single unit setup. You just plug it into the MIDI in on your Nord Stage 3, and you're good to go. All right, so let's talk about the functions that these pedals provide. And I have here a little diagram of a Nord Stage 3. This is the back panel and the various ports you might see on your Nord Stage 3. So starting with the pedal up and down port, obviously that is going to be used for the foot switch. That's where you're going to plug in this particular foot switch, and you'll be able to navigate up and down through your programs. Now the rotor pedal is interesting because you might not necessarily know if that is for the control pedal or the sustain pedal, but it's actually the sustain pedal because the rotor pedal is an on-off situation. It's either rotating or it isn't. Now there's some different options which we'll look at in video two on the specifics of how the rotor pedal works in relationship to the sustain pedal, but there it is. That's what you use for the rotor pedal. Now the organ swell is going to be a control pedal because the idea is you want to show expression. You want to increase or decrease the volume of the organ engine. Now, the organ swell option on your Nord Stage 3, especially if you're using the latest operating system, gives you the ability to control the, uh, the organ uh, volume as well as the other sound engines, depending on the setting you have. Again, we'll look at that in video two. Ah, yes, the control pedal. Well, this is named well. It's obviously going to be used with a control pedal. If you put your sustain pedal inside the control pedal, I don't believe it's going to work or it won't work as expected. So you truly need a control pedal. And the sustain pedal is obviously uh, meant for the sustain pedal, and you'll be using a traditional sustain pedal for that. You can also use, you know, one of these miniature sustain pedals. It doesn't have to be the one that came with the Nord. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this final, final option here, which is the FCB 1010 foot switch. This is going to go into the MIDI port on the back panel for the most part. It does have regular quarter inch jack uh, options as well. So you might be able to get away with uh, using a quarter inch also from this pedal board into let's say the control pedal. Um, I think that's an option for you. I don't have this particular unit, so I don't know all the different options, but there's plenty of uh, videos online, I believe that can explain those options to you. Maybe not as they directly relate to a Nord Stage 3, but this is an interesting thing. But I, I do know this, there are videos well over 30 minutes just showing you how to set this FCB up. Uh, because it's fairly robust, fairly complicated uh, if you're brand new to the world of programming these devices. All right, not to say that it's impossible or even terribly difficult, but if you're new to this, it's going to be a lot more elaborate than any of the options below. All right, now let's take a look at some other things to talk about. First, let's talk about the Yamaha FC7. 
This is the pedal that I have. I have two of these. I really like it. It's durable and rugged, so I can speak to that um, plainly. It is awesome. Uh, it's really heavy duty, and it feels like it's going to last uh, a lifetime. It feels like it'll last a lot longer than I will. Um, and this is a control pedal. The other ones that are endorsed, I don't own any of them, so I can't speak directly. You can certainly find out more information online about these, but the Roland EV5 is recommended, as well as the EV7, and these are the pictures of them. Uh, there's also a Fatar. This is the VP25, also known as a Studio Logic, the Fatar slash Studio Logic. So you'll see sometimes Fatar slash SL when you see this listed. Uh, the Korg EXP2 and the Korg EXP10. Um, so I, if you are in the market for control pedals, I'll put a link for each one of these um, under the description of this video. It will be an affiliate link, and I will get a small commission. If you so happen to buy your control pedal using the description below, you won't pay any extra. And it's just one of those things that I've set up for you to make it easy to find. And then in return, I'll get a tiny, tiny, very tiny commission. All right. And with that in mind, let's take a look at the two uh program change pedals or foot switches as they were. The Boss FS6 is recommended as well as the Boss FS7. The FS7 is a little small for my taste. It seems to me a little harder to read from a distance and uh, might be something where my foot, I think, would get A would get in the way of B and B would get in the way of A. So I sort of like the Boss FS6 a little better. And there are videos online too if you want to see people giving a review on that, including people who provide a Nord Stage 3 review of the Boss pedal, or at least some Nord keyboard to show you how that works. Now let's not forget about the Nord Triple pedal, which is an option you have on the Nord Stage 3. You'd plug this into the sustain port and you'd get the three traditional piano pedals and imitate that effect, along with pedal noise. So this is an option for the Nord Stage 3, the triple pedal. All right. Now, I actually did a survey nine months ago or so where I asked the people, you, uh, what you were using for control pedal so we could get an idea of a real world scenario. So I received 45 votes from you and this is located under the community section of the YouTube channel. So if you ever see me post a survey or questions or things like that, feel free to participate in those community requests that I sometimes do. Look at this, Yamaha FC7 at 71%. The vast majority are using the FC7. Uh, followed second place, and a distant second at that is the Roland EV5 for 18%. Then tied for third place, we have the two Korg pedals. And then last but not least, the Roland EV7 at 2%. So again, 45 votes isn't an overwhelming amount of votes to call this any kind of scientific study. But it is something that gets us started, and it is from you, the listener, the watcher, the people uh, enjoying the content on this channel. All right, so that is the lesson. Join me on video two, where we will talk about the uh, intricacies of these pedals. We're actually going to plug each one in and look at each of the options within the system area of the Nord Stage 3, so we can discover exactly how they work, how to set them up, what works best for you, and to give you options you may not have thought were possible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. It should come out in a few days from the time of this video, and this video we're looking at late October, so it should be either late October, early November at the absolute latest part two. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark from My Keys to Music and we'll catch you on the next one.